Hi guys, let me show you in this video how you can get a free online Minecraft server that you are going to be able to use to play with your friends, share the address with as many people as you want, and even install mods on it. So you're going to be able to play or vanilla Minecraft, modded Minecraft, and even bedrock Minecraft within this server. Now, before we start with the tutorial, guys, don't forget to drop a like into the video and to subscribe if you haven't already. Now, to start with the tutorial, you want to go into the description down below and click into the link that you're going to find there. This is the Aternos website. As you can see right here, you see Minecraft servers free and forever. I like to do this not only to share my server with my friends and to be able to play all together, but also to release a little bit the load of my system when you have the server in one side and you're playing in your system. So now to start, you want to click into play right here in the bottom right corner. Welcome to Alternos. You want to click into Sync Up and you want to choose a username. Once you have selected your username, you want to agree to the terms of service. You can read them later. And you want to agree to the privacy policy. Now you want to click into Next. From here, you have two options. You can sign in or create the account with your Google account, or you can enter your password and the email is optional. Once you have entered all of your data, you want to click into Sync Up. Now, when you are inside of your account, here's where you're going to have the option to create a server. Click into create a server. And in here, you can choose between the Java edition or the Bedrock edition. Bedrock edition is only for Windows and for Minecraft in your cell phone. But right now for this tutorial and this video, I'm going to be creating a Java edition server. Right here, you're going to have the name of the server and the welcome message that you're going to get when you start in the server itself. Anything of this, the image or the messages, you can change them later on. Now you want to click into create. And your server is going to be created. Right now, the server is offline and you are not connected to it. Right here into address is the address of your server that you're going to have to set up in Minecraft to be able to connect into it. We're going to be making that a little bit later on in the video. The second option that you see right here is software. It is where you can change it from vanilla you want to click into change and in here you have different options vanilla fabric forge mod packs anything else with forge and fabric maybe you can insert your mods yourself if you want to create a mod pack or if you want to choose a mod pack you want to click into mod packs from there you're going to have all of these options right here you want to select any of them where you find the mod pack that you want to set up in your server let's say for example course forge you want to click into it and right here, you can select any of the mod packs available. You can select any of them and install it in your system. For this video, I'm not going to be doing this, but just that you remember, guys, that you need to have the mod pack also installed in your PC to be able to run it. And so I'm going to go back. And for this tutorial, we're going to be creating a vanilla software. Right here is the Minecraft version. You can change this as well and select the version that you want to play and create your server. When you are done setting everything up, you want to click into Start. Now you are going to have to accept this from Minecraft itself. Click into Yes, I accept it. And now it's going to prepare and create a server for you. Now when this is getting ready, you are not going to be able to connect already into it until this is done. But what you can do at the moment is open already Minecraft and to copy the address right here. So you can log in into the server. Now we're going to be taking a look at a couple of options. Right here, if you click on the left side into options, you're going to have the server properties. In here, you can change the slots. This is how many people can play together on the same game mode. Difficulty of the server itself, we like to set it into normal. If PvP is available or not, crack it, add white list, command blocks, any modification that you want to do to the server properties, you can do them right here. Even to change the resource pack. Here is the console, if you want to set anything else right here, and if you want to see how the server is running, you can see it right here. You also have the log to see if you have any errors, with somebody spawn, anything else that you don't normally do into a Minecraft server. Players. In here, you are going to be able to ban players, ban IP, to give OP to somebody, and to whitelist somebody into the server itself. Now you want to click right there, and to set up the username, Click into Add, and you want to write the username of your name itself. So you are going to be able to connect to the server. If not, it's not going to let you. So you want to write it right here, and click into Add. 
Now, if you have this problem right here, it's because the server is not completely online. So you have to wait a couple of minutes until this is done. So now that the server is already online, you can see it right here into servers and that is online. You can stop it, you can restart it, but I'm going to add the player, white list, and add the name. Now you can click into add, and this user is going to be added into the white list. The other thing that I'm going to do for myself, to go back and to click into OPs, and to select myself, and to click add. Now, you want to open Minecraft, you want to select Minecraft Java Edition, Select the latest release because it's the one that you have installed into your server. If you have another one, you will have to change it right here and click into play. Now, when Minecraft is open, what you want to do is to go into multiplayer. You want to click into proceed right here. If Windows open this right here, you want to select and that Minecraft is going to be able to pass the firewall. Click into allow access. Allow access. And now you want to click into add server. In here, you want to Add the name of the server that you wish for and the server address. You want to place Control V to paste the address that we copied before from the Alternos website. Now you want to click into Done. And as you can see right here, the server is online, so you want to select it and to click into Join Server. And now you can see, I am playing right now in my server inside of Minecraft. And of course, how the game runs is going to be dependent on your internet connection and of course, of the PC that you're playing. But that is pretty much it for this tutorial, guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed it and find it useful. If you did, as I said before, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe to the channel for more content like this one. Thank you very much for watching and like always, guys, see you on the next time. Bye bye. The video is done, guys. What are you doing here? Thank you for watching the video until the end. Maybe if you are interested and um, you are an active member of the channel, I'm going to be creating probably in the future a Minecraft server when we could play together. What do you guys think about that? So if you are interested, just let me know in the comments down below and click that join button to join the membership of the channel. Now guys, goodbye. See you guys on the next time. Bye bye.